What a small part of a person's life are their acts and words. Their real life is lived in their head, and known to none but themselves. Biographies are but the clothes and buttons of an individual. The biography of a person can never be written. Mark Twain said something like that. In other words, all biography is fiction, all stories filtered and varnished to tell that version of the truth which suits the narrator. My name is Val Thomas, I shall be your narrator, and this is the big screen biograph. The stories may amuse you, they may horrify you, but they will entertain you. I have so many stories to tell, so many people I wish you to meet. Here are some of their names, William Castle, Jack Lemon, Walter Matthau, Peter Ustinov, Peter Cushing, Penny Marshall, Oliver Reed, Angelica Houston, Anne Bancroft, Blake Edwards. I hope you will choose to join us when the big screen biograph begins its first series of episodes on the life of a dodgy wheeler dealer of Wardour Street, British film producer Tony Tenzer. He discovered some rare talent and made some classic films amongst other things. Our first episode will be published on March the 15th. Please do continue listening for a short excerpt. I hope you are intrigued enough to subscribe. You can find us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, or wherever you source your podcasts. I hope to meet you all soon. And now on with the episode. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another Cinema News Time newsreel, giving all of our British patrons the latest headlines right here in the cinema. Here we see the British forces parachuting into Egypt to heroically recapture the Suez Canal. That's one in the eye for Egypt's president, Colonel Nasser. Look out, Colonel. Britain doesn't take kindly to bullies. And here's Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II touring Nigeria. Her Majesty received an extremely warm welcome, but the demands of high office never stop, so it's back to the royal yacht and goodbye to Nigeria for our hard-working sovereign. Look out, girls. It's Elvis Presley. This young fellow seems to be causing a bit of a stir in the United States with his foot-tapping tunes and his saucy gyrations. He's winning hearts and topping charts everywhere he goes. How about you visit us in Britain, Elvis? And what's this? In Soho, the throbbing heart of London's entertainment scene, we find a group of saucy London strippers protesting that Bridget Bardot, France's naughtiest export, is putting them out of business. That's right, the flirty French ingenue has been emptying London's glamorous nightclubs with her naughty knockabout film And God Created Woman. And these lovely ladies don't like it one bit. But when it comes to Cherche la Femme, the gents say, C'est la vie, ladies. Oh well, good luck to you girls. The year was 1956, and the incident involving strippers picketing Bridget Bardot's film And God Created Woman really did happen. To be honest, her film wasn't that racy, and it was in black and white with subtitles. In reality, audiences were dropping off. Enter publicity man Tony Tenza. The film distribution company he was working for needed something to pique the interest of the public. Now Tony knew how the press worked, and more importantly, he knew press men, those seedy little chaps who were all too eager to come out and cover a story like this. So Tony went to see his friend Michael Klinger, who ran a strip club, and borrowed a dozen of his strippers for this staged event. The ruse was a huge success. Audiences flocked to see Brigitte Bardot in Roger Vadim's film. Tony also coined the phrase Sex Kitten to describe Brigitte Bardot, a nickname that would stay with her for the rest of her career. 
This strip of protest was to prove the first in a series of successful business collaborations between Tony Tenzer and Michael Klinger, and the start of one of the most extraordinary careers in British cinema. Welcome to the tale of Tony Tenzer. I do hope you enjoyed that short clip, and I hope we'll see you on March the 15th, when the very first episode of the Big Screen Biograph is published. Until then, goodbye.